stand and to hold to his word. And I need you to understand today that this time we are being what? Obedient to the things of God. We are being obedient to the word of God. And we're following now what the scriptures have prescribed. And by obeying the word of God, we have now come to a place where we can understand that though I suffer for a moment, according to 1 Peter 5, he said, suffering is for a moment. But when you finish suffering, God is going to strengthen, sustain, and perfect you. And so today, whatever you're going through, I need you to allow the Spirit of God to give you the Word of God to sustain and keep you in the midst of your tribulation. So today, in our training, we found that the subject matter was freedom for the future. But also, our theme today is a time to celebrate Jesus and our faith. This is a time now to get about our Father's business and to know and to understand that we're being obedient to the things of Christ. And so, to each of you that are on the line, our conference line, and to each of you that are on Facebook Live, I need you to understand today that it is time for us to get back to the word of the living God. And our evangelist said to us today that if you are a part of this kingdom, suffering is a part of it. And if suffering is a part of it, that's going to drive you and draw you closer to the word of the living God and to give you a relationship to understand now that you're craving and you're moving in a place where it's going to take you higher and higher in the things of God. And so today I want you to go with me to the book of Judges. That's what I said to the book of Judges chapter four verse 4 and the chapter 5 verses 1, 2, and 3. Our subject today is keeping your hope in the wilderness with a song of victory. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. Keeping your hope in the wilderness with a song mm -hmm. of victory. According to Judges 4 and 4, it says, Now Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapido, was judging Israel at that time. Judges 4, 23-24 says, On that day, God subdued Jabin, king of Canaan, uh, in the presence of the children of Israel. And the hand of the children of Israel grew stronger and stronger against Jabin, king of Canaan, until they destroyed Jabin, king of Canaan. Judges 5 and 3 is a song of praise. Hear, O kings, give ear, O prince, and I will sing to the Lord. I will sing praise to the God of Israel. Now listen to me very carefully today. When we are looking at our situation, when we are looking at the trials and tribulations that we are going through, this is why the Spirit of God gave us this subject. Listen to what it says. Keeping your hope in the wilderness with a song of victory. Now, the definition of music is the word of music comes from the Greek maski, which is a way of saying music, both in the physical and in the spiritual. Many definitions of music hold that music is a communication and it's an activity which conveys to the listener moods, emotions, thoughts, impressions, or philosophical or political concepts or positions. It derives from heaven and it is translated to be in the earthly realm through worship and praise to the Most High God. When we think about music today, we see that there are all kinds of music in the world. But the music that draws you closer to the Spirit of God must be sacred and must be commemorative to the Word of the Living God. Amen. And so today we're looking at the subject, keeping your hope in the wilderness with a song of victory. Victory has been defined as a success or triumph 
over an enemy in battle or war. An engagement ending superiority in any battle or contest. A success or superior position achieved against any opponent. Opposition, difficulty that challenges you in life, whether it be spiritual or physical. When you have victory, it means that you have overcome Amen. and you are now in a position to have the stand and power to possess over your enemy all that he has tried to possess over you. Then the word hope has been defined as to look forward to with confidence or expectation, to expect and desire. The theological virgin and virtue defined as the desire and search for a future good, which is what our lesson was about today. It is also about difficulty, but not impossible to obtain with God's help. It means to trust in the Lord with all of your heart mm. and lean not to yeah. your own understanding. Here we find that the wilderness has been defined as an unsettled, uncultivated region left in its natural condition, especially dense vegetation or forest that is barren, empty, or a wasteland. I want to introduce you today that we're living in the world and that this world is a wilderness and it needs to be defined by the word of the living God. Here we are looking today at the introduction of keeping your victory with a song. In today's society of hustle and bustle with mankind trying to get more from the world system, which includes greed, fame, and wealth, it's encouraging to know that God has ordained men and women who must go through, listen to me very carefully, their willingness experience knowing that it is God's power that has brought them to victory after victory with a song in their hearts. Great women and men who have passed through the halls of faith in the Old and New Testament have left great testimonies about how terrible the willingness really was. But they conquered their trials with the power of God who shielded their hearts and souls. And yes, they made it through their willingness and left on record through the word of God how we, you and me, can achieve victory by the power of Jesus Christ with a song of victory too. We especially see godly women who have been outstanding in their fight of faith, moving mountains and hardships out of their way by calling on the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They have encouraged us here in the 21st century to redefine our directions. According to Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 6, it says, Trusting in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. So today, we see them as mighty women of God who became famous prayer warriors like Hannah in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 1 through 27, praying without ceasing mm -hmm. and controlling the airways of heaven with such a powerful prayer that it pulled down the strongholds yeah. of barrenness and she was able to give birth to a prophet mm -hmm. and a mighty man of God whose name was Samuel. Listen to me, the setting and trials according to Judges 4 verses 1 through 3 is keeping your hope in the willingness experience with a song of victory. Looking at our scripture text, we see another mighty woman of God named Prophetess Deborah, whose willingness experience was not just in the local desert in her native land, but included also the hard-headed people known as the children of Israel, who kept going into idolatry and leaving the worship of the true and living God. Today, I encourage godly women to be ministers like Deborah, 
the prophetess, who withstood struggles in the nation of Israel to point the nation back to the living God, who brought them directions for total victory against their enemies in the midst of a wilderness experience. As I stand here today on this platform telling you about what God can do, I need you to know that this is a powerful instrument that shows you how to become visionaries, listen to me, in your warfare against the flesh, the world, and the devil, according to 1 John 2 and 14. Here we are seeking the good life that is not in the willingness of sin. The real hope is wrapped up in the return of the Lord Jesus Christ on that great day of victory over the devil and his demonic whore. Today, I encourage you, listen to me very carefully, the children of God, to be truly ethical toward the good life if it is wrapped up in salvation through Jesus Christ on Calvary's tree. We all can make it through the wilderness if we keep believing in the word of God that promises healing, salvation, and deliverance moving toward the wilderness of dread circumstances by producing the joy of God in the midst of sadness and depression, keeping a song of hope within your hearts, knowing that this too shall pass. Therefore, today, as an encourager of the gospel of good news, I command you to become godly leaders in your field of ministry and work to help others to move out of their willingness and move them into the city of Zion and praise where thanksgiving becomes a part of the total victory in Christ Jesus. Today we're moving now out of a dread situation into a point where there's joy in the midst of your suffering. Yes. Lord yes. have mercy. Yes. Listen, mighty women and men of God in this congregation, it is my prayer today that you be blessed in your prayer and fasting life and that you learn to shout about God's victory over your tough times by moving into the word of God every day. Now I command you by the authority of Jesus Christ to go forth in the realm of hospitality and cause others in your community to come forward from the dread wilderness into a watered garden of God. As you are encouraged by the word of God, according to Hebrews 4 and 12, you allow it to shape and cleanse your thoughts and mind and bring you now into the total word of the living God. Therefore, today, keeping your hope yeah. in the wilderness with a song of victory. Yeah. Finally, know this. Every wise woman builded her house, mm. but the foolish plucked it down with her hands. According to Proverbs 14 and 4, God is looking today for that virtuous woman in this ministry, listen to me, who's willing to be brave through the storms and the rain, as well as the floods to get the gospel message over to all of her household and to her community, to her nation and to the world. And he's also looking for that man of God who has sold out to sin Oh, yes. and is now committed yes, to the things yes. of God for his community and his home life and is ready to lead this church for victory in Christ's name. Victory means you need to begin with a legacy of hope that other men and women have invested in through faith. If you're going to keep your hope in the wilderness with a song like Deborah, you must follow God's word to get out of the wilderness into the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I hear a word today that's saying you must move into victory by following his word out of sin into salvation, following his word out of sadness into joy, and following him out of hopelessness into faith for victory. Yeah. It also means that you have left this God-hating and rejecting world of bad morals and corruption for the good life that is invested only in the Lord yes. Jesus Christ. 
You have a new characteristic in faith today. You are now beautiful and meek in your spirit. According to Genesis 24, 16 through 25, you are now industrious and you're hospitable. You're known as women and men who have made God's decision mm. and yet you are modest in your appearance. You are kind and you are good. Yeah. I need you to hear me today according to 1 Corinthians 12, 25 that there should be no schisms in the body but that the members should have the same care one for another in other words if you want to get out of the willingness you're going to have to find a prayer partner who's willing to pray along with you and move in the things of God just like you for the Bible says how can two walk together except they walk in agreement so keeping your hope in the willingness with a song of victory, we see great women in the Bible, like Deborah, which includes Moses' sister Miriam, mm. known as the ambitious woman of praise. Even after coming out of the Red Sea to the other side of the Jordan, we find that this woman led her nation with a tambourine yes. and a song. <laughs> then we see Ruth in the wilderness of Moab coming out of the valley of praise in Israel and found a destiny which included in her lineage the Lord Jesus Christ. She came out of the dead into resurrection by moving out of the willingness of hopelessness into a place called praise. And then we see Elizabeth known for her old age coming out of the willingness of doubt and bore a son by the name of John, who was the forerunner of Jesus Christ. Lord have mercy, she was known as a humble woman, accepting the will of God in her life, even when others said it couldn't be done. I need you today to get up and move now out of depression. I need you to get up now and move out of self-pity. Shake off that doubt and put a song down in your heart and move now to a place called praise yeah. and hallelujah boulevard thanking God for what he's done in your life and where he's brought you to. Also I need you to know today that we see great men who have had victory in their wilderness experience both in the Old and in the New Testament. Men like Moses who was the deliverer of the children of Israel from the land of Egypt by the power of God over Pharaoh and his mighty host. I need you to understand men like David who slew the giant Goliath from Gad when he was still a lad tending his father's sheep. Men like Peter the fisherman who went out from a man who fished in the sea to being a mighty man of the gospel for to become the fisherman of men. I need you to understand today that if you're going to move, you're going to have to move quickly. Yeah. You got to move with joy. Yeah. You got to move with praise. You got to understand that the willingness experience is not to last, mm. but it's there to test you. It's there to prove you that with God all things are possible, and with God you're going to be able to move now from one lonely place to a place where companionship is with him and him alone. Listen to me. Let me encourage you today to honor the men and women of God that God has placed in your life. Listen to me. I need you to understand that they too are going through their willingness experience and they need you to pray and to believe God that when God uses them is going to lift you up and bring you out. Listen to me today. When I think of this willingness experience again, I think again about the prophet Moses who led the children of Israel through their 40 years of willingness experience. These were hard-headed folk 
These were stiff-necked people, and yet Moses, the Bible said, was the meekest man alive. Mm -hmm. He understood that they were not his people, but they were God's people. He understood that this was not his leadership, but it was God's leadership. And so what I need you to understand today, that as you go through your willingness experience, remember now you got to look up. For our help draws nigh. I will lift mine eyes to the hills whence cometh my help. Why? Because my help cometh from on high. Listen to me. I need you to understand that Moses did something that was very, very special. He did something that was very enlightening. The Bible said he held up the banner of God through uh, the Israelites and brought victory in their lives. Moses was carrying the symbol of God's presence in this banner. As long as God's presence was established as the high standard, the Israelites prevailed in battle and was able to have a song in victory. And I need you to understand that you too need God. Yeah. You can't do without him. The songwriter said without God, I can do nothing. But with God, all yeah. things are possible. Listen to me today, saints. When you hear of the word banner, you probably picture a flag, but this is not necessarily true. What a banner really is, is a bare pole with a bright and shining ornament that glisters in the sun when held high in the air. The word banner actually means to glisten, a pole or an insignia, a standard or a miracle. The banner or standard represents God's cause. It was a symbol of his deliverance and and his mighty salvation that caused his people to have victory over their enemy. And I need you to understand that our banner of victory is the Lord Jesus Christ. And he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. And I don't know about you today, but I need you to help me lift him up. Yeah. And when we lift them up, men will be saved, women will be saved, children will be saved, and brought into the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. Here, I need you to know today that here we see the mighty and powerful word, Jehovah Nissi, the banner over us is God. And Moses built an altar and called the name Jehovah Nissi, which means Jehovah is my banner. According to Exodus 17 and 15, saints, only a few weeks have escaped from the time that the children of Israel left Mora the place of bitter waters until they reach Rephidim. Here we have the scene of Jehovah revelation of himself to the children of Israel as Jehovah Nissi or Jehovah is my banner. Yes. As Morrow we will recall is the place where the healing of the bitter waters took place. Mm. And I don't know about you today but you need to lay down the bitter waters and pick up the refreshing stream from from the word of the living yes, God. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I give God glory. Here God reveals himself as Jehovah Rophia, mm -hmm. the God who heals, yes. the God who alone Amen. has the remedy of sin mm -hmm. for all of mankind. God has the balm for sorrow and all of his sufferings that the people must face in their willingness experience. He and he alone can sweeten the bitter waters of human misery by the death of his only begotten son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ on Calvary's tree. And I need you to understand that when you look up to Calvary, you find the answer to your misery. I bring you out of your willingness into a place called praise. Listen, the children of Israel had gone from Mara 
to Elam, the place of refreshing and rest, according to Exodus chapter 15 through 17. From there, they journeyed to the wilderness of sin, Exodus 16, where they murmured against Moses, the leader, because there was no food, yeah. because they longed for the flesh plots back in Egypt. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking today that many of you are thinking about going back mm. but I need you to understand that it didn't bring you this far to leave you now yes. don't go back but go forward Amen. I know it's not easy and I know trouble is on the hand but the songwriter said I'm so glad that trouble don't last always why because when I get a song down in my heart victory is on the way and all I have to do is hold to the hand of God and I need you to know that so we see that Mara the waters were bitter but here there is no water but God brings water out of a rock yeah. the same God that worked the miracle for them is a God that while you're in your willingness experience will work a miracle for you and all you have to do is trust in the Lord hold to the promises of God stand on the word of God Yes. and see victory in your life yes. here finally in Judges chapter 4 and chapter 5 we have Israel's victory over their dreaded enemy yes. because they allowed the woman Deborah and the man of God Barak to lead them into battle for life's victory. Here today you have this little old man telling you, you too can overcome by the word of the living oh, God. Yes. Oh, yes. Here today you have this little old man telling you that God wants you to have the victory, but you got to go through your yes. willingness experience. Yes. All I need you to do is put a song down in your heart, in your turning point today let me encourage you to move into the things of God yeah. like more prayer you heard me like more prayer yeah. because prayer is the answer that reaches to the throne of God then I need you to put down the plate and fast a little more to continue in the praise of God. God is ready to humiliate your enemy. You don't hear me. He's ready to humiliate your doubt. Right, He's now. ready to move out your disbelief yes. and your shame. Go, but you go, must go, be go. willing to move from the willingness to a place called praise. Yes. God has given us direct perspective in this battle. He said therefore my beloved brethren be steadfast yes. immovable yes. always abounding in the work of the Lord Hallelujah. knowing that your labor yes. is not in vain in the Lord 1 Corinthians 15 58 so I'm telling you today move now into that place of praise throw that old blues down the drain and pick up a song of praise yes. in conclusion today I need you to hear me Glory keeping your hope in the wilderness with a song of victory yes. mm. Glory. Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah, yes, glory. Hallelujah. The you, reason Lord. we can have a song mm. in the wilderness is because God has appointed us to victory yeah. by his word. Yeah. We see that Barak was not a man of great faith. Mm. He was reluctant to take on the Canaanites with their weapons yeah. and their superior army. He refused to go to battle unless Deborah accompanied him. That's right. Barak did not have great faith. But listen to me today, he had little faith. His faith, small as it may be, was in the God that could deliver them in yes, battle. Yes. Church, we need to obey God's word as he commanded the him and Deborah. And the result will be that the same God that delivered the Canaanites into their hand is the same God that will deliver your enemies into your hands. Listen, Barak's faith may not have been the size of a mustard seed, according to Matthew 17 and 20, but it was faith in God. Mm. Therefore, little faith 
rightly directed, is far superior than great faith in the wrong object. Now faith is the subject of All things right. hoped for, yeah. but the evidence yeah. of things not seen. Hebrews 11 and 1. Though I don't see it, well, I'm going to believe yeah. God. Yeah. Though I can't hear it, I'm going to believe God. Yeah. Though I can't speak it, I'm going to believe God. Yeah. Because with God all things are possible. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So how do you keep your hope? in the wilderness experience and be encouraged in your mind and in your faith to sing a new song of victory by following the word of God from Genesis to Revelations. In the end, Barak became the leader he was supposed to be thanks to a large part of Deborah, the prophetess of God. Can I share something with you today? You need somebody to encourage you. Yeah. Go on and move forward. You need somebody to help you by saying I've experienced that before and the God that brought me out is the God that will bring you out. And all you need to do is keep on singing a new song down in your heart. Today, you and I, that's what I said, you and I today will have victory over our crisis and life experience when we allow godly leaders mm. that he has appointed and anointed yeah. to lead us from the willingness of sin to victory in Christ. Amen. I need you to understand today that there are some songs we need to understand. There are some songs that we have heard in the past that have brought us victory. And I need you to know that the songwriter said, I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days yeah. and some sleepless nights. Uh, but when I look around yeah. and think things over, all of my good days outweigh my oh, bad yeah. days oh, yeah. so I won't oh, complain. Uh, sometimes the clouds hang low. I can hardly see the road. I ask the question, Lord, Lord, why so much pain? But he knows what's best for me. Yes, Although my weary eyes, they cannot see. So I just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I won't complain. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to me today. The song say the Lord has been so good to me. Yeah. Yes, he's been good to me. He's been good to my soul. Yeah. He's been good to the transformation of my mind. More than this whole world could ever be. He's been good to me. And you know what he did? You know what he did? He dried all of my tears away. Ah, so all I can say now is thank you, Lord. And then the Lord brought to my spirit another song. That said, in all of my trials, I must tell Jesus. Yeah. I, I must tell Jesus all of my trials. I cannot bear these burdens alone. In my distress, he promised to help me. He ever loves and cares yeah. for his own. Tempted and tried. I need a great savior, one who can help my burdens to bear. I must tell Jesus, I must tell Jesus, he's my care and sorrows will share. Listen to me today. I must tell Jesus, I cannot bear my burdens alone. I must tell Jesus that Jesus can help me and Jesus alone. I must tell Jesus all my troubles He's a kind and compassionate friend. If I but ask him, he will deliver and make all my troubles a quickly end. And so then the Spirit said, now I want you to move to the final song of victory. 
can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Why? Because he is my friend. Can't nobody help me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Why? Because he is my friend. And so today I want you to understand that while you're going through your wilderness experience, you need a song down in your heart. And I don't know what your song might be. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. I'm an heir of salvation. I've been purchased by the blood of God. I don't know what your song might be, but whatever it is, it needs to be a song of victory that you have now overcome the experience of trials and tribulations, and you moved to a place called praise. I will bless the Lord at all time. Why? Because his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Listen to me today on this first Sabbath service. Huh. Hey, glory to God. I need you to understand that it's him that's going to lead you out of the valley and the shadow of death. And you will not fear any evil. Why? Because he is with you. This is the apostle L.A. Anderson along with L.E.P.C. and the family of God that's extended throughout the country and around the world to encourage you that there is hope in the midst of your willingness experience oh, yes, as yes. you move oh, now yes. with a song in your heart. And so as we get ready to pray today, I want you, oh, Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Hey, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Ha hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory hallelujah. hallelujah. Ah, yesterday is gone. Yes. Today is now here. Yes. And what I'm experiencing is the joy of the Lord hallelujah. as my strength. Glory hallelujah. 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 My favorite bless song bless on Christ. Him. The solid rock yeah. I stand. All other ground Hallelujah. is sinking sand. Yeah. Listen to me today. I dare not trust the sweetest frame. But I'm a holy lean on Jesus name. Yeah. As I get ready to pray today. Yeah. I want you to lean Hallelujah. on yeah. Jesus yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't hear me. I said I want you to lean on Jesus Hallelujah. name. I want you to take the sadness out and bring in joy. Yeah. I want you to take depression out and be lifted in the word of the living God. This is your day to move forward. This is your day to look back and say, ha, I'm moving in a greater way to the things that God has promised. A new song in my life. A new song in my mind. A new song in my heart. Why? Because it's lifting me to higher heights and deeper depths. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God, I praise you for the song that you've given me today. Ah, it's not as bad as it seems now that I've overcome through the power of the living God. You can come out of your willingness experience with a song of victory in your heart. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Hey, glory to God. Bless In the name of Jesus, yes, we come today yes. to say thank you, thank you Lord, that thank even you. as we go through our willingness experience, yes, Lord, yes, you're giving us hope. Oh, with a new song yeah. down in our innermost being. Yes, Lord, Touch yes, today Lord. in Facebook land. Yeah. Touch today on the conference yes, line. Lord, Touch yes, today in Touch YouTube right and the allow the anointing destroy yokes yes, and the power of God yes, to lift yes, the saints yes, and refresh yes, them and bring them to a place yes, where they can lift holy hands yes, and declare Jesus hallelujah. is Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, help, us today, yeah, help, help us today. Help us today to put our feet on higher ground. Yes, Lord. Help us today yes, Lord. to put our hope 
in the word of the living God. Help us today to put our song in a song of victory. And even as Deborah and Barak overcame the Canaanites, we will overcome whatever is trying to hold us back. Thank you for the word of God. Hallelujah. 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 God, I up. I give you praise today. I bless your holy name. Hallelujah. For bringing us out. For bringing us over. And so today we hold up the banner. The banner of love. We hold up the banner. The banner of joy. We hold up the banner. The banner of hope. Knowing now that we're moving into a special place. A place called victory. This we ask in the precious name of Jesus. And we give you glory. Oh my God. And we give you praise in Jesus name. All I want you to do now is just praise him. All I want you to do now is just bless him. All I want you to do now is just give him. Oh. Give him glory. Open your mouth and praise him. Open your mouth and give him thanks. Hallelujah for a new song. Hey, glory, glory for a new song. Hallelujah. Come on, saints. Come on, saints. Open your mouth. Pull it out. Pull it out. Pull out that praise. Hallelujah. Pull out that praise. Pull out that song of victory. Hey, glory be to God. Hallelujah. God, I praise you. God, I bless you. My soul says yes. Hey, hallelujah. My soul says yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your word today. Thank you for your teaching today. Thank you for the women and men of God that you have appointed to bring blessings in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you. God keep you. God make his face to shine upon you. Ah, you that are on Facebook, until I talk to you again, I'm saying that I always say, go with God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Oh my God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my.